Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how I put my Hidden Crown um, 22 inch extensions into my hair. Um, they have been cut and styled a little bit by my stylist to just have some added layers um, and blend like a little bit better with my hair. Um, they're still like much longer than my bio hair is, but with some curling or um, you know, some zhuzhing, you can kind of make it work. So it's very simple. Basically, when you get your hidden crown extensions, um, it comes with this little loop, like this little um, plastic string, and you do have to tighten it. It come, you know, you can pull at it. Here's the other side, and um, you tighten it to fit where you want on your head. So everyone's head shape is a little bit differently. So your wire, like if you tried my extensions on, they might not fit you perfectly just because, you know, everyone's head is shaped differently. But you want it to lay um, like an inch or two behind the front of your hair and then you want it to kind of come down like right by the bottom of your like head bulge. I don't know the right word for it, but that's kind of where you want the extensions to lay and like where they're going to get the best coverage. So mine are brushed through. You just kind of want to brush them through. And then what I do is it also comes with this comb, which is really handy. And basically what I do is I just leave like the two inches in the front that I want. And then I just kind of pull back um, the top section of my hair and you'll see why but when I put my extensions in um, They're gonna lay underneath this section of my hair. So I'm just gonna pull this back And I have one of these like handy dandy clips I'm just gonna clip up my hair And then I just take the hidden crown extension and you want to hold it like this so that the string is forward and you just place it on your head and then you're kind of just going to get it situated comfortably like pull it down in the back you can kind of see where it's laying compared to my hair I just pull it down lay it back and then you know just pull it forward and I'm just going to un do my hair and then the most important part, so you can see right now here that there's like this bump here um, because basically like it's not blending in with the hair yet. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start brushing with the comb. You're just going to start brushing out those pieces of hair that were stuck behind the, um, the little wire there. So you want to make sure that nothing's stuck and that everything's pretty seamless. Honestly, I have the type of hair that if you touch it once, it gets like really naughty. So my hair's always like a mess. But so you can kind of see here, it's the easiest thing in the world so i'm just going to do 360 and you'll see how um kind of different the my hair is compared to the extensions if it's not curled or styled you can kind of tell um the difference in the hair because my hair is here and then my extensions go down so I am going to just do like one or two quick curls to show you how easy it is. Okay, so here I have my curling wand. Um, it's Hot Shot Tools. I just got it at Sally's for like 20 bucks. Not my favorite curling iron ever, but it does the trick. So I do kind of just like to style my curls a little bit. Um, and make them look nice. I know everyone has like their own way of curling their hair and whatnot, but I do kind of just go for like the regular curl look. I also don't know how to curl hair super well, so.
I was just, you know, making this video to show you guys kind of how to blend the extensions in. You can still, you know, kind of see my bio hair and where it ends and where the extensions are, but um, overall, you know, no one cares. So, um, yeah, this is the final product. And this whole process took me probably 20 minutes to put them in and curl them. So it's a great alternative to a topper if you still have some bio hair and you want to wear extensions. It doesn't pull at your hair. It doesn't, there's no clips, you know, nothing's tugging at your head. And, you know, they also do have the toppers. So if you don't feel confident and you want to wear something on top, you can do that too. I think they have... Um, you know, their toppers aren't super high density, I don't think, so you should be able to wear both and not have, like, mammoth head. Um, but yeah, so this is it, and um, I will probably be getting shorter ones as well, just for volume, because I, I truly love these extensions. I love the hair, the quality of hair is amazing. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions on any of this, please let me know. Um, I think they're really great.